What's up, YouTube? Um, it's going to be a really quick video here. Uh, I have a couple videos coming up, actually. Uh, this one's just going to be a, a few pieces of artwork I got and a great comic. Um, this is a key comic. Um, not a major, major key, but it's, it's, a, it's a pretty key comic. Uh, cost me a bit of money, so. Um, not a high-grade one, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I have a few videos coming up. Um, I have a video showing a room tour of my man cave down here now, down in my basement. And I, I redid everything. Had uh, You guys have seen this part of it. Um, it's not complete. There's still a lot of work to do. But I do have that video coming up. I'm going to be posting it after this one. Um, I also am going to be doing a, I'm going to start doing my, uh, original artwork collection videos. Um, I will be doing a, uh, Peter Panzerfaust collection of all my Peter Panzerfaust artwork. Um, you'll see some of that, um, in my, uh, room tour, um, which will be the next video. You'll, you'll see some of the major pieces I have from Peter Panzerfaust I do have on the walls. However, um, I will be making a separate video of just every single original piece of art I have of Peter Panzerfaust, which is a lot, actually. So, um, yeah, so let's get into it. Oh, I, I do want to uh, thank, uh, the, again, the guys who uh, participated in my raffle. Um, I, I did uh, announce the winner. I did send it to him, his winning, his prize, whatever, and... Uh, Hopefully he was happy with it. I believe he was. Um, so yeah. So maybe I'll do another one in the future at some point. Uh, who knows. I've been stuck around the same, I don't know, 640 or something subscribers. You know, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if I ever get to 1,000, I don't know if that will ever happen. But um, that, that's a long way away. So uh, maybe I'll do a, uh, another big uh, raffle or something. Not raffle. Uh, uh, competition or winning or whatever prize thing okay so um let's just get into this and be done with it um okay so i got a bunch of um what do you call it this uh of um sheltered i got not a bunch but i got a few sheltered pages and i have uh, a couple peter panzer faust um i you know, I oh that this is Peter Pan's effects. I have three pieces of each, actually. Uh, so let me just go start with this one. This is issue number ten, page twenty of Shelter. Um, I don't remember what I paid for these. I got these a while ago, so um, I don't have my actual. I don't think I have my phone on me to look it up. Uh, no, I don't. But yeah, it's a pretty cool piece, actually. Um, these have been going up in price, too. I mean, the, I don't know. People are running up prices on these. These, these were getting, I was getting for like 10 bucks. There's one of these I paid quite a bit of money for. for like, It was like 50 bucks. Um, but I'll show that. I think these were probably around anywhere to 10 to $15 right now, this one here. Uh, this one here, I know I paid a little bit more. I think it was in the 20-ish range, right around there. I'm not positive, though. Um, I, I, like I said, I don't have my phone on me to look it up, and I definitely don't remember. But it's a pretty cool piece. It's nothing spectacular, but it's just like a, you know, a, a full splash page. Um, this is issue 10, page 18. Um, so... Yeah, some of these just went for more than I was willing to pay. You know, this issue. They, the guy's been doing them by issue or something weird. Um, but this is cool. I, I like this one here. Uh, with a little truck kind of in the... Crashing the tree. Don't really see that unless you look, really pay attention. But that's kind of cool, though. Um, and then the, this is the one I paid, like... I, I remember it was around 50-something bucks. Um, because it's a... Uh, it's issue number 10, page 22. It's a more dramatic kind of piece, I guess you can say. But there you go. You know, I don't remember. I, I read, I don't think I ever finished this series. I have all the books. 
comics, but I don't. I think I stopped reading, and I just start stop buying them. Started buying them. Kept buying them. I mean, um, I'm gonna have to go back and read it, or maybe I just get a trade. Um, cause I do want to finish. I really like the series, but you know, when I was working on my doctorate and everything, uh, my paper, you know, homework, papers, do everything like that. Reading comics kind of took a sidetrack, and you know, I used to read a lot of them. You know, I just haven't been doing it. Uh, now we're getting to the Peter Panzerfaust stuff. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for these. I, I want to say I paid like twenty something dollars for this because I don't usually pay more than that. If it goes from more than that, it's got to be a pretty significant piece. Um, this is issue twenty three, page eleven of Peter Panzerfaust. Like I said. I don't usually pay more than 20 something dollars for something like a random page like this. Maybe 30 something, depending on if I got caught up in it. I don't know. I doubt it though for this one. Um, this one here, I actually paid a bit of money for. I don't know why. <laughs> it's uh, it's a, it, it, it's some kind of book plate or something like that. Um, I don't, I don't think it's from one of the actual issues. Um, I can't remember, but it was like 90-something bucks. Um, and I got it. I guess it's cool because it's Peter, but um, I got this one. There's no page number or anything. I remember when I bought it, it's, it's some kind of like book imprint or something like that it said. Maybe it's something from a trade or something. I'm going to have to look it up again to really look. But, you know, it, it's a pretty cool piece, and it's something... You know, uh, I don't think I'll get it framed, but it might be worth getting framed. I don't know. We'll see. This is a second print cover of, uh, um, of course, it doesn't have the issue number. It's like a second print cover for, like, issue 21 or 22 or something like that. But it's the second print. Um, but it's a cover. So, so that's pretty cool. I only paid I paid like two something for this one, like two thirty, two twenty something, something like that. Um, which isn't great, I guess, but you know it is a cover, even though it's a second printing cover. But it's it's a pretty cool one. You know, it doesn't have any characters on it, but it does have a crate of dynamite, a uh, a forty five there in nineteen eleven or something. You know, looks like a nineteen eleven. Dear Peter, with kindest regards, I'm assuming that's from Hook. Oh, looks like a hook's mark right there. That's kind of cool. Huh. Eh. But this might be one I'll get framed and put up on the wall if I ever find um, a spot, a spot for it. Okay. Now, on to the graded comic I got. Now, I paid... Ugh, I don't remember for this either. It's like three-something, maybe. It's... It was quite like 350, 370, right around there. It's a lower grade one. It's, like a, it's a 2.0 CGC, but it's a pretty significant book. Um, it's one I didn't have, and I'm going to try to complete my collection now. This is the next series I'm going to be working on. Um, my This is A Journey into Mystery 84. Of course, the second appearance of Thor. But all, but the, it, the the real key significance for this is the is the first appearance of Jane Foster, so it's a two point There was a raw copy I think that might have been a little bit nicer than this that I just let go. I I uh, I just was I, I bid on it and then I wasn't ready to bid on higher price or something. I missed out on it. Uh, I think I would have bid a higher price if I would have been on the ball, but yeah, so. Yeah, so it, it's not bad. It's not, I mean, it says, oh, it says tape on interior cover. Okay, well, that's about it. Um, but it's not restored or anything, just some tape on it. I don't know, it's on the interior cover. Oh, I see it right now. I see, it's got a little, it's got a tear right there. See? It wants to put tape on the inside. But hey, it's a 2.0. I'm happy with it. It'll, uh, that's my 83. I do have 83. You guys can watch my collection video. Uh, it's in there somewhere. And that's signed by Stan Lee and also Joe Sanot. Joe Sanot. Joe, how do you say his name? Um, now I got 84. I think I do have 85. Is that the third appearance? Is that the uh, first Loki 
Um, actually, I have it right here. Let me get that at. Let me see. I think it's 85. Or is it 86? 85, yeah. I think it was 85. So I have uh, 84, 85, and I do have 83 too. So cool, cool, cool. But yeah, guys, that's about it. I will show you one more thing that I didn't get to show before. I'm just going to go show a quick kind of a, uh, excuse me, I'm in my, my jammies already. But um, long day at work, guys. Interviewing, I had a few postdoctoral interviews this week um, down here in Wisconsin. Uh, well, I'm in Michigan, Upper Peninsula, but I had some interviews in Wisconsin. But this is, I finally got my piece. I ordered this well over a year ago, and I got it a, a little while back, a few weeks ago or so. But it's my J. Scott Campbell, um, Alice in Wonderland piece. So pretty cool. And this is the exclusive edition, I guess. You know, it comes with a picture over there you guys can see in the background. So yeah, I figured I'd show it to you guys. Maybe I'll do a more close-up one. So yeah. But yeah, guys, um, that's it. Uh, like I said, I, I maybe at some point I have one of those Lazy Susans. Maybe I'll do a video, some videos on some of my uh, statues up here that I, I don't think I ever got around to doing. Um, I'll do a whole surround thing and spin it around so you guys can see it from all angles i'll probably do a showcase on each of those at some point you know i'm, I'm not buying a whole lot of comic books anymore more artwork than anything but even on artwork i'm not really buying a whole lot i do have a piece coming from g uh, linzer that i actually bought directly from him online um it's a harley quinn piece so i'll show that when i get it i should get it sometime this uh, maybe by saturday or something but yeah uh I won't keep you any longer. Um, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.